welcome to Cambridge International as chemistry course in this course now I want to discuss about atoms molecules and stoichiometry the key points are relative masses of atoms and molecules the mole and Avogadro constant determination of relative atomic mass empirical formula and molecular formula reacting masses and volumes let's see in detail Relative masses of atoms and molecules. Relative atomic mass. The relative atomic mass of an element is the weighted average of the masses of its isotope on a scale on which carbon-12 atom has a mass of exactly 12 unit. Carbon-35, uh, sorry, chlorine-35 and chlorine-37 are isotopes of two chlorine isotopes chlorine 35 has 75 percent and 37 has 25 percent so the weighted average of these two isotopes is 35.5 this is the relative atomic mass relative isotopic mass the mass of individual isotope of an element is relative isotopic mass chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 are two isotopes of two chlorine so the relative isotopic mass of chlorine are 35 and 37 relative molecular mass relative molecular mass of an of a substance is the weighted average of the masses of the molecule on a scale on which carbon 12 has a mass of exa exactly 12 unit the molecular mass of ch4 methane is 16 the molecular mass of h2o water is 18 relative formula mass the relative formula mass of a substance is the weighted average of the masses of the molecular unit on a scale on which carbon-12 has a mass of exactly 12 unit. The relative formula mass of NaCl is 58.5. NaCl actually ionic lattice. It has many chloride ion, many sodium ion, but the formula unit is NaCl. It has the mass 58.8. The relative formula mass is this expression is used only for the ionic compound. No. moles and Avogadro constant the number of particles is present in one mole of a substance is called Avogadro constant Avogadro constant is expressed by L the Avogadro constant is 6.02 10 to the power 23 so one mole water means it has 6.02 10 to the power 23 molecule of water determination of relative atomic mass mass spectrometry mass spectrometry is a technology it is used to detect the accurate atomic mass of an element here it is used to measure the mass of each isotope present in an atom and compare how much of each isotope is present in the relative abundance it has the first chamber ionization here the positive ions are produced then acceleration speed increases deflection separated to their masses heavier lighter medium then detection current is produced and this electricity amount is very small so it is it is magnified and after that we draw a diagram from this spectrum we can find the accurate atomic mass let's see detail sample is injected here this is vaporized then we make the positive ion passing the electron stream to the gaseous atom then you get positive ions after ionization chamber it is passed through the electric field then the speed is increases then passed through the magnetic field here the heavier lighter medium this way the streams are divided so we get different masses the heat the detector and current is produced the amount of current is very small amount then it is magnified we draw a bar chart just like that and here we have three peaks so it has three isotopes the x-axis mass charge ratio and y-axis abundances another example magnesium has three isotopes 24 25 and 26 in the mass spectrum we must get three peaks and abundances are given we have to find out the relative atomic mass of magnesium of four significant figure so using the relative relative masses uh, multiply their isotopes and abundances we get 24.33 
calculation of empirical formula and molecular formula first empirical formula that this is the simplest ratio of the molecules of each element present in a compound molecular formula this is the actual number of atoms present in one molecule of a compound two marking point here number one actual number of atoms and the second point is one molecule of a compound now calculation of empirical and molecular formula an organic compound has carbon hydrogen and oxygen their percentage 35.8 4.5 and 59.7 percentage are, are given now we have to find out empirical then molecular the first part finding empirical formula we are finding the ratio dividing the percentage by the relative atomic mass we are getting the result after that we are getting simplified it divided by the small the smallest number then we are getting four six five so empirical formula is c for a6 and o5 now let's molecular formula multiplied by n we are getting from here n equal to 1 and the molecular formula is c4 a6 o5 now calculation of molecular formula using combustion data this is challenging challenging to many candidates this is actually experimental data one problem we want to discuss and a, comp a compound a this is the gaseous hydrocarbon 30 cm cube a is burned in 150 cm cube of oxygen the output gases are here carbon dioxide and excess oxygen also water is produced water is at room temperature pressure it is liquid so 120 cm cube is carbon dioxide and excess oxygen then the stream is passed through potassium hydroxide potassium hydroxide is alkali carbon dioxide will be used up the remaining volume is 90 the 90 is the unreacted oxygen let's see the equation the hydrocarbon is burned carbon dioxide and water x molecule carbon dioxide and y by 2 water and in this reaction 30 cm cube hydrocarbon 150 cm cube is uh, oxygen the output gas is 120 120 here carbon dioxide and excess um, oxygen from here the stream is passed through alkali and remaining volume is uh, 90 from 90 uh, we can find out uh, actually oxygen is unreacted then carbon dioxide amount 30 the 30 is the amount of carbon dioxide produced 120 carbon dioxide plus excess oxygen excess ox oxygen 90 so carbon dioxide is 30 from here the reacted oxygen is 60 cm cube from now uh, the ratio of the hydrocarbon and the carbon dioxide one is to one so the value of x is one and then the ratio of the hydrocarbon and oxygen uh, 30 is to 60 that is 1 is to 2 so from here x plus y by 2 is equal to 2 so y is equal to 4 value of x is 1 so the molecular formula is CH4 now reacting masses and volumes one problem here is to Cl2 is decomposed by water the products are sulfur mixture of hydro chloric acid and sulfurous acid from here is to cl2 2.7 gram and the sulfur is 0.96 gram we have to find out the most of uh, sulfur produced from one mole of s to cl2 first we want to find out the most of s to cl2 most of s to cl2 0.02 most of sulfur 0.03 so from 0.02 mole of s to cl2 sulfur is 0.03 for one mole of s to cl2 we are getting 1.5 volt then another problem we have to find out in this problem concentration of uh, chloride ion for that uh, the mole of calcium chloride is given from here first we have to find out the moles of chloride ion more chlor moles of chloride ion just will be double than the moles of calcium chloride because stoichiometric ratio 1 is to 2 so the moles of chloride ion 0 0.04 and the concentration 0 0.04 divided by volume 200 divided by 1000 that is 0 0.2 we are getting 0 0.2 mole per dm cube another problem yes yes hydrocarbon a completely uh, passed through a copper heated copper oxide it is fully burned the products are copper carbon dioxide and water the mass of what water and carbon dioxide are given we have to find out the moles of carbon and the moles of hydrogen from here we can predict what type of compound the hydrocarbon is alkene or alkene so first the mass of carbon the mass of carbon 0 
here the, we are using the simple the imaginary method from 44 gram of carbon dioxide we are getting 12 gram carbon and 1.3 to just multiplying and the moles of carbon 0 0.03 the mass of hydrogen the similar way than the previous one 0 0.06 and the moles is 0 0.06 so here uh, we can predict the ratio is 1 is 2 2 so that hydrocarbon is alkene the end of this chapter many candidates are not confident about calculations if you have any difficulties in calculations you can communicate with us at catalyst education catalyst education has both face-to-face -face and online platform thank you